having a strong vision on what you want to do in that role and then showing perseverance in, in going at it. We've, you've now worked for so many years and you've seen, right? It's not academically the brightest people who always succeed and actually become C-suite leaders also, right? So what do you think truly differentiates those who make it to that role and those who don't? Uh, it's a beautiful question, right? Academic brilliance certainly has its merits. Let's give credit to where it belongs. You know, you absolutely uh, are to uh, appreciate people who have academic brilliance. But C-suit leadership is not, not often solely determined by how good you were in academic achievements. I believe multiple factors come into it. It's, it's strategic thinking, your real leadership abilities, your emotional intelligence, and, and uh, in the relentless drive for achieving results. Uh, these are all few things that needs to happen, whether you are academically great or not. And I, I think it's more towards your attitude, how you can chart your career than, uh, you know, anything else. So, you know, I, I believe there are common traits. Uh, maybe it might apply for most of us, right? It's about having a strong vision on what you want to do in that role and then showing perseverance in, in going at it is, is an important thing. Being able to inspire and influence stakeholders, whether above or below, the ability to inspire stakeholders at all levels is absolute must. And I, I think we also have to be a seeker. Uh, uh, we believe, uh, one should believe that, you know, uh, there is always this constant curiosity to seek knowledge and to, to gain knowledge. I think that that is absolutely important. And willing to take risks, being bold, sometimes putting your foot down and to challenge the status quo is also a critical thing. And uh, uh, it's also about, you know, uh, having self-awareness, empathy, interpersonal skills, being able to recognize, uh, you know, value of building uh, relationships within and outside the organization, collaborating for better success. We can't do it alone. Uh, uh, so it's multiple factors. If we can have all of it, or at least, you know, most of it, uh, that will ensure that we are very, very successful. Not that fancy degree, uh, though I'm not discrediting uh, academic success, but it's more important on those characteristics rather than just the academic. Uh,